Well, in this particular training, uh, Zlatko, my coach, he gives me these uh, exercises from the basket so that I can, uh, you know, work on nothing but technique and control conditions. Here we are rallying from the middle, from the baseline, to see if uh, I can catch a rhythm. Uh, a lot of the times I make the mistake that I, instead of warming up here trying to feel the ball, I go straight to uh, hit hard. And that's one of the main mistakes we make as recreational players. We uh, want to hit faster and hard. And we want to make these crazy, incredible shots that we're not prepared for. And we kind of miss the whole point of the exercise. So to be able to train, um, uh, to learn, properly we have to understand and respect the exercise so for this exercise here i'm supposed to be uh, trying to be very technical and not worry about power and speed but about uh, contact point and my legs and anything that has to do with the technical aspects of the swing um in this part over here i feel like i am uh, more in tune with the exercise i'm trying to stay consistent that's one of the main things that I talk to uh, recreational players all the time about. Like when I started playing three years ago, uh, I thought that I can kind of like hijack or like uh, what's the word that we use in tech? Uh, uh, but there's a word in tech that I, you know, well, uh, I, I thought I could have some sort of shortcuts and learn faster than everybody else, but that's not the point. That's not the case. This is highly technical. This is repetitions upon repetitions upon repetitions properly. It's very similar to like playing classical guitar or classical piano or something like that. You need a lot, a lot of hours of practice. You could be talented, but if you don't put in the work and you don't develop enough of that technical ability to, to, to really be uh, to really be up there. Um, at this point, I'm playing cross with doing so yeah, I don't like hitting the net like that. All right, so we're gonna play cross. I think this is a, a part where I do really well. Uh, here, my left arm is it's coming sideways too much. I don't like that. I have to work on that, actually. Uh, I have to work on that. I have to move my feet a little bit more. This was too close to the body. That one was good. This one is good. Yeah, I like this. This is fine. Moving around the ball, I'm getting clean. I'm being focused. This one wasn't so clean, but it's fine. Okay, good, good, good. Nice, good shots, good pace. This one could have been a little bit better. This one, I don't know why I did that. Oh, this is a good attack. Good, yeah. This, this, this was a good. This was the best of the practice so far. On the backhand, you know, I've been having a lot of trouble with my forehand. And I don't pay that much attention to my backhand because it comes natural to me. It's such a simple stroke, you know, for me, it's a very simple stroke. I know coach says that for most people, the backhand is the hardest stroke to learn. But for me, it's a very simple stroke. And uh, my right leg is very accurate to where I have to be, more accurate than the left leg. So for the backhand, you have to you have to turn your shoulder and, and your right leg, if you're a righty, your right leg is in front. So that's the dominant, you know, that's the dominant leg for that stroke. And my right leg is much more accurate and much more precise than my left leg. So on my forehand strike, on my forehand, on my forehand, I'm struggling with my left leg, the positioning being perfectly positioned for that for that shot. I don't have that problem with my backhand slice or with my backhand. So I feel confident in my backhand. I hit winners with my backhand. I have great defense with my backhand, and uh, I'm developing a pretty good slice. For my level, you know, I've only been playing for three years, so uh, that's what I'm doing here. We're working on our slice. I'm trying here to close the racket, to keep the racket closed, not open, closed, and put my weight through the ball by in pushing with both my arms out. That's the that's the te technical aspects of that shot for me, what I'm working on. And also we work on volleys a lot because uh, I like to, I like all strokes equally. I love all the strokes equally, but um, I want to be a well-rounded a well player. I want to have all decent strokes. I don't want to just have uh, a good forehand and that's it, you know, and everything, everything hit everything with a forehand. No, I want to be able to play full tennis, play from every part of the sport, 
to, to get, develop beautiful points and end the points at the net. And also, eventually, I'll play doubles. I haven't played any doubles yet, but eventually, I will. And it'll be a good opportunity to to, to develop even further uh, my tennis game. But here, I am trying to keep the, the a short backswing because you're not supposed to have a backswing. Follow, you know, follow the ball. Uh, coach says it's like uh, make believe that my racket is a butterfly catcher. And you're just catching butterflies. And you just wait for it. You wait. You wait, and you and you hit the ball with a short backswing. And it's all it's all in the legs. You split step and move forward. Split step, move forward. Split step, move forward. Backswing. Turn your shoulders. No backswing. Just turn your shoulders. And that's what I'm focusing on here. Turn your shoulders. Keep the racket. Keep the racket in, in my in, in my line of view. I can't lose the racket. If I lose the racket, it's too far. Just turn your shoulders and move forward. Over here, I have some kids watching, so I wanted to do a good job, but I made a lot of mistakes, so they left. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm not supposed to be thinking about anything like that. I'm supposed to be focused on the exercise, and that's another thing about me that I have to work on. It's like my focus. I daydream a lot while I'm playing. Uh, and when I'm playing points and that happens, you can bet your butt that I lose the point. Never, whenever happens that I'm daydreaming or not focused 100% and somehow I hit a magical, beautiful shot. It just never happens that way. I'm still working on the, on the, on the volleys here. Uh, my feet at this point are on fire. My left foot especially. That means that I was working really, really, really hard with my legs more than usual on this exercise. So my left foot at the, after I finished this, this exercise, my left foot was like super uh, full blood, you know, I could be tired and I had some pain at the bottom of my foot. On the serve, I can talk about, uh, I've put a lot of work on my serve. Again, I never touched the racket before I started playing tennis three years ago. I never even watched a tennis match. I didn't even understand. Tennis was not part of my culture or anything like that, or I ever thought I'd play tennis. It'd be such a big part of my life. Uh, I'm so happy that I discovered it here in Southeastern Europe. But I've put a lot of work into my serve. This is my second serve. I um, here I'm just trying to really have high quality, a high quality second serve with decent speed and a lot of rotation. That's why I make that sound. That, that sound is I'm putting effort on the rotation. Uh, I'm trying to hit through the ball. I'm trying to be precise. You know that I'm hitting close to the tee, which is most people's backhand, unless you're a lefty. And I have to hit wide like a slice. And this is like a slice kick. You know, it's a mixture between slice and kick. It's, I'm really consistent at it, but I've worked really hard. I mean, in last winter, I put in over a hundred hours just on, on the second serve. A hundred hours, so every day for an hour before or after practice, five months, four or five times a week. So, uh, People have criticized my, my service here because it's not so fast, but uh, you know, at a recreational level, and if I want to win like senior ITF tournaments down the road, you know, consistency and placement is key. And that was the end of my practice. Thank you for tuning in. Ciao.